This is not a fairy. It's driving around the bananas. Squeak, squeak, squeak. It just never stops. Oh, hang on. There. Some peace and quiet at last. Oh, that's good. Oh, there it is again. Hey, it's me bootles. <laughs> oh, well, if I don't walk, I'll be fine. <gasps> hey, up. That's Wily Sneak and the Unfortunate. Come. <laughs> you have to mind your feet with those vultures. We've had a few unfortunates arrive with only six toes instead of seven. <laughs> <laughs> this bunch of unfortunates are from Hackney. There's Osman, who lives in a lighthouse. Yinka is a ruthless gardener. Jewel is part bumblebee. That's Salima. She's alive with the sound of music. Dan is from the planet Gateshead. How did he get in there? And Callum, who won gold at the Imaginary Olympics in 2006 1912. Of course, these aren't the only unfortunates to come to the tower. This is my watch tank. This is where I get to see everything that goes on in the tower. For years, mobbing craftful of unfortunates have been coming to the tower. <laughs> Imprisoned at the top, they work to pass the challenges and escape each floor. For each challenge, a new saboteur is chosen. You are the saboteur. Only one will escape with the key of freedom, and the rest remain trapped. <laughs> Wall of Sorrow. This challenge has brought even giants to tears. To succeed at this challenge, the unfortunates have to rebuild the Wall of Sorrow. To pass, the wall must be complete at the end of 90 seconds. They'll have to keep their wits about them because at some point, all the lights will go out and the saboteur will strike. And then, them unfortunates will find out why we call it the Wall of Sorrow. Quick, get building. Remember, the wall must be finished at the end of the challenge. So, who is the one who can't be trusted? It's time to pick the saboteur! Osman, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by destroying the wall when there are blackouts. I will guide you through your whisper clip. Will it be tears for Osman, or can he fool the team? Unfortunates! This is the Wall of Sorrow. To pass, you must rebuild the wall by the end of 90 seconds. Let the challenge begin! No! Oh, come on! Osman, start by helping the team. If you look busy, they won't suspect you. That's it. They look like they need your help. That's not how to build a wall. It's only you and Dan in front of the wall. Try and pull the bricks toward you when the blackout comes. It will look like someone on the other side did it. That, is, that doesn't Blackout fit. coming. Three, well, that's two, it. one. Sixty seconds. Remember what I said. Pull the bricks. That's good. Where are you going? Come back, come back. Too late. Stay still. Stay still. You're way out of position. They may have noticed. Just keep helping. Come on, help them. Quick. Come on, move. Talk to them. Speak up. Salima, it's falling. Good. It's falling. Three, two, one. Thirty seconds. Okay, destroy the wall. Now you must get back into position this time. Good. Why not try blaming one of the others? Okay, not too much. You're being too obvious. Right, I can just you, man. Be careful, Osman. Time is running out. Keep Ten, helping. Nine. Come on! Eight, come seven, on! Put it on top. Five. Four. There are so three, many holes two, in the wall. <laughs> Your time is up. You failed miserably. Oh. Looks like the team have failed. But has the saboteur been seen? 
You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Osman. I think it's Dan because every time the bricks fell, it was very close to him. Yinka. I think it was Juho because he was bringing the bricks slowly and not helping the team. Joel. I think it was Osman because every time a brick fell near me, the brick fell from his side. Dan was next to me. Salima. Dan because he's always out of breath and he was always next to the bricks that fell. Dan. I think the saboteur was Osman because he kept turning away from the wall when the lights came back on. Callum. I think it was Osman because he seemed very suspicious and overreacted when the bricks fell. You have voted for Osman. I can now reveal the saboteur was in fact... Osman. Osman, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. They wrecked the team's challenge, but the team wrecked their chances. Rumbled. Osman, how do you feel about being trapped? i got bricks to play with, but I'm going to get bored quickly. Poor unfortunate Osman. You're trapped! <laughs> He couldn't get away with it, but Osman will have plenty of time to practice. Now he's trapped! <laughs> Floor five. Spooked. Some people say lots of the books in this next challenge are spookified. And they'd be right! This is the Tower Library, and that is Miss Mutternot, the bad-tempered librarian. To pass this challenge, unfortunates must find three safe books and hand them to the librarian. But beware, Miss Mutternot has an awful temper. If they pick three spooked books, they will fail. It's time to pick the saboteur. Callum, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by manipulating your team to pick spooked books. All the spooked books have yellow on them. I will guide you through your whisper clip. So, can Callum spin some tails to make the team lose? Unfortunates! This is spooked to pass. You must hand the librarian three safe books. Let the challenge begin now! Remember, it's books with yellow. That one, yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. No, they've gone for a safe one. Put one. Not a good start, Callum, but you can still do it. Come on. Go for the yellow one. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, well, the one with the green one. one. The green one over there with the scorpion. Yes, yeah. that'll do. It looks like that, that one. one. Looks like that one. Yeah, go on. Perfect, and they decided for you. <laughs> You're back in the game. Come on, Callum. Look, there's, there's, a, there's a, a blue Everyone's talking. Speak up. Oh, the um, purple there's screen on it. That, yeah, that the, big one there. Which one's yeah, she going yeah, for? Yeah, the yeah. Green one. That one. No, that's not spooked. This is dangerous, yes. Callum. One more of those and you're um, trapped. Yeah. Uh, maybe that big uh, yellow, yellow one. That big, big yellow one with the um, blue... No, the blue spider. The Dan's blue on your side. Ones. Yes. Get, Go for it. The blue, the spider, yeah. blue one. Oh, no. The they've blue, changed the their mind. The what are they doing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. hang on. Yeah, That's right. a spooked one. Brilliant. Yeah. On. Cover your ears. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a shame. Right, are we, this is the last chance we need. Uh, you need a yellow book. The big purple the one, the blue. The blue one Which with the purple yellow? scorpion. Yeah. No, not that one. It's not spooked. Uh, Speak oh, up. I'll go for the yellow one with the spider on it. I don't know. Uh, Agree with Dan. The spider on it. Agree with Dan. What about the yellow one with the blue, blue. spider? That yeah, looks all right. Yeah, okay. yeah we'll try that one. Good idea. That's perfect. Perfect. Bad decision, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunates, you have failed miserably. 
Oh, nicely done. But has the saboteur been spotted? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Dan. I think the saboteur was Callum because every time we chose a book, he was trying to lead her towards another different book. Callum. I think he was Dan because he was only going for one book and most of them were wrong. Yinka. I think he was Dan because he was acting oddly and choosing the wrong books. Jewel. I, I think the saboteur was Callum because every time uh, me and Dan chose the book, he disagreed with it. Salima. Jewel, because what? anytime we pick books, he always used to pick books most of the time wrongly. You have voted for Dan and Callum. Sounds like a job for the draw straws. Callum, you have drawn the short straw, and therefore, you are the unlucky one. Oh, so close, yet so trapped. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact... Callum. Callum, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Cripes! Callum, why do you think the others voted for you? I think they voted for me because I was a bit too confident. Poor unfortunate Callum. You're <laughs> is trapped with that spooky librarian. <laughs> Floor four, two-faced liar. Don't believe a word. Sorting truth from lies can be tricky. Or can it? No, it can. Or can it? No, it positively can. Or can it? Meet Madame de Visage, the two-faced liar. To pass this challenge, the unfortunates must listen to Madame's reflection make statements. They must decide if they are true or false. If they get three right, they will pass. But get three wrong, and they will fail. But it's not just Madame's perfume that smells dodgy. Someone is going to be up to summit. Salima, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. I will tell you which facts are true and which are false. You should use this information to make sure others choose incorrectly. But don't be too obvious. I will guide you through your whisper clip. Saboteur, saboteur, on the team. Are you the bestest at being mean? Come on, Salima. Unfortunate. This is Two-Faced Liar. To pass, you must guess correctly three times. Let the challenge begin now! Bonjour! What is this I see before me? Did you get dressed in the dark? This is not fashion. This is fashion. Huh? Toy chic? Yes. yes ma ah! Now, let's get on with it. I am going to give you a statement. And you will give me true or false. Are you ready? Yep. Yes. Let yep. us see. Now listen for my instructions, Salima. The Romans used crushed mouse brains for toothpaste. This is true. Convince them it's false. Is it true or false? Discuss! I think it's true or false. It's true. It's true. Come on, it's, it's true. true. What are you doing? Speak up! It's false. You guys know it. I said speak up! It's false. What do you think it is? It's false. It's true. Are you playing games with them, Salima? True. For true. Let us see. Are you trying to win their trust? Oui! It is true. Yes. That was very lucky for a beginning. 
Now I give you a second statement. Okay, Salima, now it's time to turn the tables. Lachenophobia is the fear of milk. This is false. Convince them it's true. It's false. Because lactose means milk and cheese and stuff like that, so I think it's it's true. We got it for true. You think it is true? Yes. Yes, madam. Yes. Excellent. You're doing really well. (laughs) No! It is false. Oh, how disappointing. You got it wrong. The true answer is a fear of vegetables. Vegetables? Here is your next statement. Just two more. The eye of an ostrich is bigger than its brain. This is true. Ostrich. Convince them it's false. That's can't be, that can't be true. It's false. 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 Come okay. on. It's false. false. <laughs> you think it is false? <laughs> yeah, yeah it's false, madame. No! It is true! What a shame. That's true to you. You get one more wrong and you fail. <laughs> Here is your next statement. Good acting, Salima. In France, you would usually find a chameau in a fruit bowl. This is false. Yes, Convince them it's true. It's true. I don't know what a chameau is. Come on, just because we didn't get true. No, I'm, I'm sure I've heard it. Oh, trust me. Okay, then. I think right. it's true. We got it true. true. It's for true. Well done, Salima. <laughs> no! Yes, yes, sir! <laughs> Chameau is French for camel! Unfortunate! You failed miserably! Oh, I can't watch! Actually, I can! You must now vote for who you think the saboteur was and why. Salima. Yinka, because she wouldn't say anything at all. Dan. I think the saboteur was Salima because on the last question, um, she said it was true and persuaded us it was true, but actually it was false. Yinka. I think it was Salima because um, she got the last question wrong. Joel. I think the saboteur was Salima because every time I said a question, she said it before me and it was usually false. You have voted for Salima. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact, Salima. Yes. Salima, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Well, it's no good sabotaging the game if everyone knows it's you, is it? Salima, why do you think the others voted for you? Because I was too forceful with the answers. Poor, unfortunate Salima. You're <laughs> So, Salima was spotted and is trapped. Floor three. Camp Fia. <laughs> Camp Fear? That's not a place you want to spend your school holly weeks. Oh. It's your tense if you dare. To pass this challenge, the unfortunates must find nine pieces of wood and assemble the campfire. Once built, they must take shelter and rest. But beware, if someone puts the fire out, the moon howler will appear. They must keep the beast at bay and quickly build the fire in time. Or they will fail. There's only three, so who will it be? It's time to pick the saboteur. Yinka, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by making sure the fire is not built at the end of two minutes. Remember, as soon as you put out the fire, You will have just seven seconds to destroy it and get back to your tent. Don't panic. I will guide you through your whisper clip. So Yinka is the next meddling saboteur. Oh, I can't wait. 
Unfortunate. This is Camp Fear. To pass, the fire must be complete at the end of two minutes. Let the challenge begin now! Okay, come on. Yinka, start by helping your team. Encourage them. Hurry, hurry, hurry. That's good. That's the last log. Um, there's only more. There's only more. There's only more. Fire complete. In your tent. Remember, Yinka, just seven seconds after you put the fire out, go. Extinguish the fire first. That's it. Now, get rid of the logs. Here comes the moon howler. Back in your tent. Good job. Now listen, ignore the moon howler. He's going to try to distract you. Come on, out you come. Come on. Yinka, you must be quicker out next time, or they'll suspect you. You'll get another chance later. Come on, come on. Um, okay, fire complete. In your tent. That's it. Okay, coast is clear. Now come out. Remember, be quiet. That's good. 60 seconds. Wait! You had more time! You can't let the moon howler put you off or they'll pass. It's all about timing. Back out. Oh! The boys are building too quickly. Next time, spread the logs out further. Come on, get ready. Fire's built. Get in your tent. Listen, Yinka, this is your last chance. There's not much time. Be scared. I know, but be brave. Get out there now. seconds. And don't talk to me. The others might hear you. This is it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Back in your tent. Okay, out you come. No, wait. The boys haven't come back yet. Where are they? Okay, here they come. Out, out. Ten, Stop them building nine, it! Eight, Take a long, do something! Seven, oh, time's four, running out! Five, They're gonna four, do it! Three, Fire's three, built! Two, one. Your time is up. You have passed. Yes. Oh, the team have passed. Boring! You have passed. Therefore, the saboteur is automatically locked in the room. But before I reveal the unlucky unfortunate, who do you think the saboteur was and why? Yinka. I think it was Juhel because he was acting oddly and he never helped us. Juel. I think the saboteur was Yinka because every time I was in my tent, I heard the noise from her side. Dan. I thought the saboteur was Joel because there was no logs where Joel was at any time. You have voted for Joel. I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact, Yinka. Ah, poor saboteur, Neil Plants. <laughs> Although you were undetected, you failed to sabotage the challenge. Therefore, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Whatever. Yinka, how do you feel about being trapped? I feel sad but okay, but Juho and Dan deserve to go to the next round. Poor unfortunate Yinka. You're trapped! <laughs> Clumsy Yenka. Now she's trapped with the Moon Howler. Yikes! Floor two. One way out. And there can only be one winner. It's the fight for freedom! To win the key of freedom, unfortunate must answer questions on their time in the tower. It's simple. Win and they'll escape. Lose and they'll be trapped. <laughs> I'm so excited, I could tickle a turkey. Unfortunates, this is your fight for freedom. The unfortunate with the most correct answers will be the winner. You have 60 seconds to prove yourself. Let the challenge begin now! Damn, who got trapped on floor six? Oswin. Correct. Joel, where did you hide in Camp Fear? 
Um, in... in Too tense. slow, tense. Dan, which spooky character did you meet on floor five? Uh, the librarian. Correct. Joelle, how many mirrors surrounded Madame de Visage's magic mirror? Seven. Incorrect, six. Dan, what did you use to build the fire? Logs. Correct. Joelle, what did Yinka hand to the librarian? Pardon? What did Yinka hand to the librarian? Books. Correct. Dan, in Two-Faced Liar, how many true or false statements did you guess correctly? One. Correct. Joelle, who drew straws on floor five? Callum and Dan. Correct. Dan, what was the name of the game on floor five? Dan and Joelle, your time is up. Dan, you answered four questions correctly. Joelle, you answered two questions correctly. Dan, yes. you are the winner. Congratulations. Joelle, how do you feel about being trapped? I feel okay because I made it to the final floor. Poor, unfortunate Jewel. You're trapped! Dan, you have won your freedom. Take the key and leave the tower before I change... So, Dan is running out of the tower as fast as his boots will go. As for my bootles, I found out what was making them squeak. <laughs> yes, problem is solved and my dinner is served. Now... You'd better squeak off. Well, unless you want to get trapped. <laughs>